What's up guys? Last time we were here, we had the M52 placed inside the E30, trying to hook everything up, like the radiator, the hoses, the alternator, all that good stuff to try to get closer to the finish line. And today is going to be the exact same thing, but with other important goodies that we're gonna be installing. We have a wiring mess. I did open up the little box that holds all the wiring, which looks terrible, but we're taking it off because we're gonna have a new panel that's gonna be covering the firewall. I went with an M3 firewall cover and it's gonna make things a lot cleaner back there. The only thing I'm worried about is clearance, but from what I've seen, these motors fit pretty well with them on. That's the first thing we're gonna be tackling. We do have to make some tweaks to the blower motor cover because there are some studs in the way. It's as simple as just dremeling them out. They're pretty tiny. Well, that's a cup holder. <laughs> what? This is a cup holder. <laughs> yeah. I don't care what you said. <laughs> find, a, find a cup that small. been trying to see our options for the brake booster just like we said in the last video we were possibly going to be deleting it all together a lot of people go with the Porsche ATE booster very similar to the OEM one but it's a lot smaller holding it you can't really tell until you put it up side by side but look at the differences between this brand new ATE booster and the E31 it's a massive difference and even on the back you can see how much further inward the new booster is going to be sitting in and unfortunately you do have to modify the porsche booster the new ones are about like 250 and i ended up getting it for around 320 already cut and modified just because i wanted to try to make that as painless as possible luckily it fits with the motor inside without taking off the intake manifold. Well, Martin's doing that and transferring everything over. I wanted to show you guys this little flap that's on the throttle body. If you're flooring it, you start losing traction. What that's gonna do is it's gonna limit the motor output. So it's just gonna close it and open it depending on the situation. And I actually have a new intake to delete this all together. And just like that, it's off. I ordered this intake boot from Beamer World. It's supposed to just go over the original throttle body, super simple, but that's not the thing that I'm excited for that comes in every one of their packages. Last time they sent me two gummy bear packs and I ate them, both, not realizing that they're in German. That's original. <laughs> Reeves and Benny just showed up. Benny has an F52 and a Z36, so I'm gonna use yours to compare some stuff. Okay. Some fresh wheels, dog. Yeah, you hype? For myself, yeah. style 19s, get them. If you have an E36, Throw them on there. They look so good. Mar, you want to drive it? Let's take apart the whole motor and then we'll know. And then we'll just leave it out here. Yeah, is that fine, oh, Benny? Yeah. We'll just take everything apart and then we'll know. Yeah. But you got to put it back Five together. grand. And I'm getting a phone call. I miss stock cars sometimes. Do you need a heater core? Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you need a heater core? Oh, wait, is it actually charging? What is he tuning? What is he tuning? Oh, okay. He's tuning me. Yeah. I don't know. He just said five bucks. He tuned my car. I, I said, all right, bro. I know. I know a guy who could do it for cheaper than that. <laughs> all the money we put into our cars, we're not gonna get even half of that. How does that feel? No, he's hurt. Money doesn't, money doesn't go when we die, Martin. We had to return our three eighths impact because it fucked up. I don't know how. Heard from a little birdie that you use it to take off wheels. So we returned it. We're gonna have to be ordering another one because they don't have it in stock. But we got more tools which is always exciting. So we got brushless impacts with new batteries. I don't even know where we're gonna keep them at because we're running out of space in the toolbox. And we've been needing this for a while. We're always borrowing my dad's, the, the, the Makita. Makita, yeah, we've been always borrowing my Terrible. dad's drill. Just taking it back and forth and then we need to invest in our own. So Milwaukee's always the way to go. Oh, this is so much nicer than the other one. More cutting. All day. BMW could have made it look better. Possibility. I mean, it's clean for an E36, but we're not putting this motor in an E36. So the wire that we're doing is probably as clean as you're gonna get for an E30. Jeremiah had to separate some of the wires from the main harness, because the way they bundled everything up is just so weird. Jeremiah looks at this thing as in disgust. 
He was about to throw up. According to him, all he needs is three wires for his eyelids to work. This is gonna be the harness adapter that I showed you guys from Condor. All these blue wires are just crimpers that you have to crimp to some of the wires by the ECU inside the glove box. So you're gonna have to run this through with the wires itself. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you like your RPM, your fuel, your temp, all that good stuff mm -hmm. for the cluster to work. This is gonna be connecting to the actual main body. So love you. No, you don't. I love you. Yeah, I've been working on BMW. This isn't love, this is hate. I know you didn't do any of the work except for the cutting. That was heavy duty work. But it was hard work, Mark. The cover bolted up. It's a pretty tight fit. We had to make some modifications, but this is from, first of all, from an M3. It's definitely not gonna bolt up the way it's supposed to. And we have an M52 in it, so it's gonna be very different. Tape up some of the red power wires, and I'm doing the same thing with these blue wires that this one is just a ground oil temp sensor and then coolant temp. So wherever that goes, probably under the manifold. And it's coming together, but just a lot of work, Martin. A lot of work, probably like another, an hour and a half just trying to clean things up before. We can start it. Progress. Start it? Yeah. No, but I am sending off my ECU to Castle Performance, and they're gonna be doing the ultimate performance tune, which is the M50 manifold tune, um, EWS delete, we're doing the O2 sensor delete, we're doing muffler flap delete, like just a couple of miscellaneous stuff, and it should be a good power gain from stock, but I am gonna be running the M52 manifold just for a little bit. I bought this thing like two months ago, and I haven't even cleaned it up, but. You can see the runners right here for the intake are pretty small. When compared to these, it's 60% bigger. Oh yeah, you can tell. So you're, this is probably the best mod you can do for E36s and E46s. I'm assuming it's probably gonna be around like a little less than 200 wheel horsepower. I know I can do S52 cams, which will benefit on this mod, but that might be till later, maybe when I do the Vanos or something. Jeremiah convinced me to cut these tabs off. This one, I already took that one off. And we have a couple over here. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it Put either. it back. If you make it, you're going home. Ah, uh, you're fucking stuck here, boy. That looks a heck of a lot better. Especially with this bracket that was all rusted. I guess I'm just gonna be trying to take off little studs and little brackets here and there, but damn, dude. It's actually starting to look really, really well. And it doesn't look as bad as I thought cutting those brackets off. Yes, there is some metal showing that I could probably just touch up with primer with a little paintbrush, but I think overall it's still gonna look good and I still have a lot more work to do before I even think about painting it. So that's gonna be like the last thing I'm gonna do, especially down the line. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I don't think things have ever went that smooth with the E30 than with this M52. There's been a lot of times where I just wanted to give up on this car because everything was going wrong. A lot of people, including Stephanie, told me to not give up because I really love the E30, but I just didn't wanna just keep dumping a lot of money trying to fix everything that was wrong with it. Now I have an M52 sitting in the E30 and I'm so happy I never got rid of it. This thing is so sick and I really can't wait to get it running. We're just trying to show you guys as much as we can without making it a full DIY. Even people that don't own an E30 can enjoy it. It's been going along really well and we're learning as we go and there's still a couple of things we need to do. I guess right now I'll just show you guys where we left off. It's looking pretty good. We have most of the wiring all tucked away. It was a huge pain in the ass to try to fit everything. So we had to do a cutout so we can get the starter and power wires running through because they would not fit in here no matter what we did. And we have the harness adapter that's running through here with a cutout as well. So it looks pretty good. It does suck that you can see the wires behind there, but that's honestly the least of my worries right now. I'll definitely clean that up later once I get the car running. And we also took the time to cut out some brackets, even though you can see the metal exposed and there's some dents, a lot of that's gonna be cleaned up when we paint it. And the worst bracket of all, the bracket for the air box. That thing is gone. It was hideous. FYI, we're probably not gonna be uploading a video next week. We have a bunch of stuff to do on Jeremiah's car. We owe it to him to help him out and get his car figured out. So I don't think we're gonna be doing a video just because I work all week. I think the next time you see a video of this thing, you'll probably see it 
running i hope so we've been trying very hard to continue to push out some dope content for you guys so it would help out if you guys supported us and bought some merchandise from our website staticgarage.com make sure to check out the new air fresheners we have bucket seat that's cherry flavored and it smells really really good and we also have the original static garage design that smells like fresh breeze so make sure to check out those pick up a jet tag pick up a sticker and just support the channel so we can continue growing for you guys and showing you guys these dope builds and building more just like the ls430 on that note hope you guys enjoyed this video like subscribe and share and we'll see you guys on the next one